In the vast expanse of the world's oceans, where naval supremacy reigns supreme, a new era in warfare is emerging. Embark on a journey into the heart of modern naval combat, as massive aircraft carriers battle stealthy drones and supersonic weapons. How do these massive vessels deal with the dangerous seas of 21st century warfare? Before we find out the answer to that question, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on new content. So let's dig deeper into the video. Introducing the USS Gerald R. Ford, a $13.3 billion feat of engineering and weaponry. With a five-acre flight deck and the ability to accommodate over 60 aircraft, this monster reimagines the concept of naval superiority. It's a symbol of American strength and scientific capability, demonstrating the country's determination to maintain its status as a worldwide maritime power. The USS Ford is a powerful symbol of America's military might. Her sheer size and cutting-edge armaments acting as a significant deterrence to China's growing naval capabilities. But in a time of swift technological development and changing risks, its scale might not be sufficient to ensure its existence. As the USS Ford navigates the waters of insecurity, it serves as a reminder of the ongoing need for vigilance and readiness to protect America's interests. It remains to be seen whether it will emerge victorious in the face of these obstacles. But one thing is certain, the USS Gerald R. Ford will continue to be a symbol of American might and tenacity at sea. China's rapid growth of its naval fleet, along with the development of powerful anti-ship missiles, poses a significant challenge to traditional naval tactics. The country's ambitious Navy modernization initiatives represent a dramatic shift in the balance of power, causing anxiety among military strategists worldwide. As China strengthens its maritime capabilities, the United States enters a new era of maritime competition, marked by technological innovation and geopolitical maneuvering. In the face of this challenging, dangerous environment, the U.S. Navy employs high-power lasers, a groundbreaking response. Imagine having weapons that can shoot at the speed of light, eliminating adversaries with pinpoint accuracy. Leading the way into this new era of warfare is the USS Ford, which is propelled by sophisticated nuclear reactors. High-power lasers, which provide unmatched speed and effectiveness in fending off new threats, mark a paradigm leap in naval defense. Swarming drones and hypersonic missiles are no match for the state-of-the-art weaponry, which can engage targets at the speed of light. Modern laser technologies on board the USS Gerald R. Ford place it at the vanguard of this technological revolution. With its cutting-edge A-1B nuclear reactors providing around three times the power of America's current supercarriers, this ship can produce about 300 megawatts of electricity. The USS Ford can maintain extended laser operations due to its enormous power capacity, which guarantees ongoing defense against changing threats. The U.S. Navy carried out innovative testing in 2014 using the first laser weapon system ever mounted on a ship. Known as the SEQ-3 Laser Weapon System, or LAWS, this prototype showed impressive efficacy in identifying and eliminating possible adversaries. Expanding on this success, subsequent developments led to the creation of more powerful laser systems including the high-energy laser with integrated optical dazzler and surveillance system, or the Helios. The ANSEQ-3 laser weapon system, also known as the XN-1 LAWS, is a laser weapon developed by the U.S. Navy. It was initially deployed on the USS Ponce for field testing in 2014. The purpose of the LAWS is primarily for ship defense, specifically targeting low-end asymmetric threats. It utilizes an infrared beam emitted from a solid-state laser array, which can be adjusted to high output for target destruction or low output for warning or disabling sensors. One notable advantage of the laws is its low cost per shot compared to projectile weapons, as it only requires minimal energy to fire. This is in contrast to traditional ordnance, which involves significant costs in manufacturing, transportation, and storage. 
The system is designed to engage various threats including unmanned aerial vehicles, small boats, and other fast-moving targets. The history of the laws dates back to a development contract awarded in 2010 with subsequent testing and refinement leading to its deployment on the USS Ponce. The Navy invested approximately $40 million in research, development, and testing of the laser weapon over six years. Commercial laser technology played a significant role in its development, with the system essentially comprising multiple welding lasers combined to converge on a target simultaneously. During deployment, the laws demonstrated its effectiveness against different threats, including disabling UAVs, detonating explosive materials, and incapacitating boat motors. It was declared an operational asset in September 2014, allowing ship commanders to utilize it for self-defense within established rules of engagement. Despite its success in testing, the laws faces challenges related to its developmental nature, including issues with tracking small targets and synchronizing multiple emitters into a coherent beam. These challenges, along with the bulky nature of some components, prevented the laws from entering serial production. In addition to its destructive capabilities, Helios also served as a surveillance mission, further enhancing its utility in maritime operations. The system's integration into the Navy's layered defense architecture is crucial for its effectiveness in a maritime environment. While Helios is initially being installed on Arleigh Burke-class destroyers, its scalable and adaptable design enables integration with other ship classes and combat systems. Future iterations of the system could potentially be deployed on a range of Navy vessels, including guided missile frigates and next-generation destroyers. As the Navy prepares to conduct at-sea testing of Helios in 2023, the system represents a significant step forward in the development of directed energy weapons. Its success in operational maritime environments will inform future development efforts and contribute to the Navy's evolving defense capabilities. Subsequent developments led to the creation of the Helios system, produced by Lockheed Martin under a $150 million contract with the Navy. Helios units were introduced for deployment on ships like the USS Arleigh Burke and for land-based testing. This advancement represents the Navy's ongoing pursuit of direct energy weapons for maritime defense. The Navy marked another significant milestone in August 2022 when the Arleigh Burke-class Preble destroyer became the first to have a permanent laser installed on it. With a 60-kilowatt power output, Lockheed Martin's Helios easily interfaces with the ship's cutting-edge Aegeus radar and weapons control system. With its development, the Navy's laser capabilities have advanced significantly, improving its capacity to address changing threats in practical situations. The Navy intends to keep pursuing high-power laser technology in the future, with continuous work aimed at creating even more powerful laser systems. A contract to construct a one-megawatt laser that can counter a variety of threats, including drones and hypersonic missiles, was given to Northrop Grumman in July 2022. With this large-scale endeavor, we can be sure that the USS Ford and its brethren will continue to lead the way in maritime defense. High-power lasers are a monument to American effectiveness and ingenuity as the USS Ford navigates this new era of combat. These cutting-edge weapons, with their unparalleled speed, accuracy, and efficiency, have the potential to completely change naval combat in the future and guarantee the U.S. Navy's supremacy at sea. Despite recent operations in the Red and Mediterranean Seas and enthusiasm from Navy leaders about directed energy, questions arise about why lasers haven't been used to shoot down operational targets as yet. As the Director of Surface Warfare Requirements, Rear Admiral Fred Pyle is responsible for guiding the development and fielding of new surface ships and weapon systems, including lasers. Vice Admiral Brendan McLean, the Navy's top surface warfare officer, has expressed frustration with the pace of laser weapon system development, emphasizing the need to fulfill the technology's promise. However, the USS Ford is just one location for the Navy's laser program, the competition to rule the oceans has never been fiercer, with plans to develop even more potent weaponry. 
Lasers have the potential to drastically alter the battlefield from sea trials to permanent installations. The Navy's pursuit of technological superiority gets stronger every day as hostilities rise and opponents become more audacious. One concern, though, stands out among the laser-fueled chaos. Are these cutting-edge weapons really capable of changing the course of combat? Or are they just a trick? The Navy will not let up in its pursuit of high-power laser technology in the future. Projects such as the one-megawatt laser development contract that Northrop Grumman was given demonstrate how the Navy is still at the forefront of cutting-edge R&D. Strategic foresight, adaptability, and innovation will be critical as the Navy forges ahead through unpredictable times. Lasers are but one component of the bigger picture, even though they might provide a strong protection against new threats. To stay successful in a more competitive market, the Navy needs to keep investing in a wide range of capabilities, from unmanned systems to sophisticated sensors. In the end, individuals who welcome change and grasp its potential will shape naval warfare's future. The U.S. Navy is determined to steer towards a more secure and stable marine domain for future generations, even though the seas may not be predictable. One thing is quite evident as we come to the end of our exploration into the world of laser-fueled naval warfare. The stakes are higher than ever, and innovation is more needed than ever. Will the USS Ford and its equivalents usher in a new era of maritime dominance outfitted with lasers? Time will tell. So join us as we continue to explore the ever-evolving landscape of military technology. And don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay tuned for more groundbreaking insights from Military World. Thanks for watching.